another day. Deficio. Big purple window. What are they going to get? Hopefully for them a few towers so they can get a bit more gold under their belt, even out the score here with SKT. But right here, we had a window for Impact. He left the bottom lane, walked in to join the team. So when Blank gets caught out, Impact is already nearby to join the fight. Otherwise, this is a 4v4. That C9 could still lose. But the fact the tank shows up, forces everyone from SKT away. And now all the ultis are gone here. Very simple. C9 are playing well around Impact. Impact roaming from his lane, knowing when they can actually force a fight in mid. Blank got surprised right there, and that cost his team a lot. Also, just want to say how impressive it is that Baker is able to constantly skirt around danger here, around the edge, and kind of drag Cloud9 around, delaying their time so that uh, they weren't able to get a tremendous amount off of that yet. But now, Z9 have reset. They do have teleport on Impact, and this is the time. Still important to highlight that despite the Baron of Cloud9, a team fight is not necessarily going in their favor with this bomb here. There's so much damage on both sides that if you don't know where Bang is when he opens up.
I'm on to you. Up. We just saw the DPS in the yep. last fight. He can do the exact same thing. It's a four item twitch against only one tank. Impact is not Rom. He can't block all the shots. The back four of C9 can be dropped so very quickly. You have to watch for Bang. They might actually try and force right through the mid turret because Hootie is going to annihilate turrets right now. So much Bang damage on this dude. Uh, two, two is gone. He can't go fast to the bear, but with five members, though, he's going to keep staying for the inhibitor itself. This is going to be a bit interesting. The the heart is the strongest muscle. Tanks are right in the front line, Baker waiting in the wings, and Hooney is not recalling, he's not looking for the play just he's yet. Bang. Inhibitor turret is down, and Bang not getting anything with the ulti, getting across, there's nothing to be done. The inhibitor not being attacked, and Hooney's still not going back, it will be. It looks like a trade of inhibitors, is there more? Onto the back line, they found Bang a little bit, Impact did. They're looking for a bit more, the ulti across on the flank as well, find the stuff coming out from Sneaky, doesn't find something, because Hooney is continuing to push, he is still going for the base, and Cloud9 are the first to flinch. They lose their turn, they've got to go back to the base. Will they lose the recall? Impact gonna be back safely. That Twitch poison stops a couple of Impact's attempts at recalls, and Hootie is able to demolish the base there. What a quick trade, though. This is one for one, and C9 still not out of here. Hootie could come up from the red buff as well. Now, Impact has TP as well. If C9 see it coming in, they can at least join the five on five, and Hootie right now only concerned with taking the jungle away. The better of the play was still SKT. They countered a Baron Seed by getting an extra Nexus turret. And it all starts with Bang and Fager positioning from the flanks to force C9 to focus them and the objectives at the same time. But they didn't get any kills. We'll get a top lane tower, though, so a bit more gold in their pockets. But the bottom lane one-on-one, -on -one, I feel like, might favor SKT. C9 might need their tank, and Huni actually happy to keep fighting Impact. Putting more and more damage across that a half HP on the Maokai. Not sure he can win this battle. The duel continues though. The health bars getting down below. But look at that empowered shot left over. He'll come through for impact. The fight's getting lower and lower, but Hooney gonna find himself the solo kill and Cloud9 are still tankless. Hooney's tier right here allows him to have enough mana to actually just continue spamming the abilities in the 1v1. And his red buff allowing him to regenerate and deal true damage constantly here versus the Maokai. Such small margins, honestly, with that minion wave there, it got a little close. Yeah, the burn's certainly a big deal against a 500 armor champion. Slight exaggeration. The region out of combat helping in case someone jumps him afterwards. Mid lane a little bit attacked right there as the Baron's timed out. Wave clear easy enough from Sneaky. He's still been the big member on this team. Lord Dominus regards his in, so he has some tank busting. Only one slot to go for both these marksmen. In these games here, with all the damage on both sides, we gotta look at flashes before every single big fight. Bang is missing his because it was forced by impact in that little base defense from SKT's side. If they can actually flash engage onto him, there is a QSS that makes it a bit harder to lock him down, but he won't be able to flash away at least, and a lot of damage can follow. So SKT, their game plan from here continues to look like 
create this pressure around Cloud9, play off the vision they already have surrounding this team. If they continue to poke on both sides and continue to poke with these, these fish that Faker is poking out, eventually they burn enough summoners that they can punish. Keep in mind, you talk about pushing on both sides. One of those sides is the 4,000 gold lead on Huni's Jace right now. He is full build, level 18. He cannot get any stronger. Impact has more than a full item slot to go right now. So uh, as time wears on, some of this gold doesn't matter for the Korean squad anymore. Cloud9 may catch up, but it is ST with the tempo, looking for the forward attacking. Can't quick get the kills, but it forces the flash of the smoothie. All right, all two down now. Bang, used it very aggressively, trying to see if they can maybe force C9 away from this turret here. Bot lane in here, of course, is open, but we have Impact sitting and defending. Is there any blue wards behind SKT that is marked? Sometimes I see hot just needs a hard smile. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. You are safe with Thrall. 30 seconds until minions spawn. I wonder what's around next corner. Let us go. said Enemy has been slain. Good. 